relationships, but you're wrong. Last time we, I mean, you've been on, it's been a bit, bit since you've been on the show. Mm-hmm. I know we, uh, you're very open about the sugar daddy thing, but since that time, you're no longer in New York, right? You have, uh, you've left the city, correct? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When, I went when, to, where are you? Where are you? I'm in St. Louis, baby. Oh, I'm in the shit. loop. With Nelly. Yeah. Oh, me and Nelly. Oh God. I just put Who my on all the time. Uh, I don't need them. Air Force Ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She got a me. <laughs> Wendy got a a band aid on her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Just Only, on left left side. Only on the left exactly. side. Yeah. One lip. And it's Only also- on the left side, cause and- yeah, that's the crip side. That's where ah. I keep my my pussy lip band aids. For some reason, it's also wearing a St. Louis <laughs> Rams jersey. The whole thing is very odd. But it's yeah. real. It's cropped real short, so the yeah. cooch right. is out. <laughs> right, and I dyed my pussy hair purple and yellow for the Saints. So I'm uh, trying to like be very. Who that? Who that? Shout out to Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> what? What? Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Oh, oh okay. wrong team. I'm high. Song I'm sorry. Yeah, yep. we just said, yeah. she just said purple too. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't think the Saints are purple, but let's we don't have to worry about that. The point is, Saints are like we're, brown, right? No, they're black and gold. Gold. I I, I don't know. Everything here is matter. purple and yellow. I live in a part of St. Louis that is where they have the second biggest Mardi Gras yes. festival in the world. So I'm in Soulard. Yeah. Every everyone here has got purple and yellow. So whatever the fuck. Ain't that, that is. what they say? Who that? Who that? Who that gonna I, beat them? Saints, I think. Um, that's that's New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it ain't New York. So. Ew, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, that's why I don't brush my hair. People are like, you going to like? I'm not in New York. What the fuck do I give a shit about anything? I so, like, I mean, they're like, yo, your hair looks beautiful. You like what? So what know. I like about Wendy is instead of continuing to be like, in, uh, you know, like deciding to be a St. Louis ten, she's like, no, I'm just gonna drop my standards <laughs> and keep and keep it at a at a seven or eight. Right. I want to stay night right at a seven eight. Can I tell you? I yes, like right now I'm wearing I went off a run. It's like 25 degrees. I'm wearing two layers of pants. I had on three sweatshirts and a big over. I still dudes in pickup trucks that probably are murderers will stop and check me out in many layers of clothes because yeah. and I'm not trying to talk shit. Respect and love to everyone. The chicks out here are fucking a garbage. Woo! I mean, big they, look like they, can, they look like they can chop wood. Yes, they look like they chop wood and they eat it if they, you know, in between their meals. They are oh, this like reminds me of Charles Barkley. Up. He got in trouble for saying all the women San Antonio, down San Antonio. Some big ladies. Got them big old girls, down, big old girls down, down in San Antonio. Victoria, eat- don't, Victoria don't know the secret in San Antonio. Because <laughs> they be eating no. them churros. That's how it is. They, eat them churros. they be double fisting them churros hey, in San Antonio. Hey, hey, that's so, big, hey, that's some big old woman down there in San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio, <laughs> man. San Antonio, man. Ain't no, man. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> hey, there's some old big old guy. Hey, they got some Kenny. big old drawers in San Antonio, <laughs> man. So now, Wendy, you went down. Now, what, what brought you out to St. Louis, first of all? Like, um, Because... I, I don't know if you guys know, if your listeners know this, there was a global pandemic that yeah. shut down the fucking no, world. We didn't win. <laughs> I know. Now, wow, I was man. on the Upper East Side of Manhattan in a studio apartment for which I was paying $2,300 a month, which is, for Manhattan prices, not shocking. Not crazy, right. yeah, considering. It's not crazy. It was a great apartment. For Manhattan, yeah. Correct, for Manhattan. And um, when live performing shut down, I lost about, because I produced a show there and just doing club spots, so I lost a few grand a month out of that and i was like okay but i still had two sugar daddies well guess what all the rich people got the fuck out of manhattan and then stand up we were doing like shows in the park and cops are shutting that down so i was like both of my jobs are illegal i cannot afford to stay here so i went on zillow and i know one person that lives here i went on zillow and i was like i gotta find a cheaper place to live i need to lower my overhead because I. So how much is your place now (laughs) <laughs> it is a 600 square foot loft studio with like a private stairwell. It's really nice. It costs <clears throat> five, three, five. Wow. A month. <laughs> yeah. How much could you get a three bedroom for that out there? Oh, if you're renting $800, it's fucking cheap as shit. Cigarettes are like four or $5 a pack. Smoking is bad. Don't do it. But if you do smoke, I mean, fuck it. Move here. Oh, wow. Shit, it's okay. Wild. But look, how what's the price of pussy out there though? 
Everything oh, goes down. <laughs> Everything <the> goes down. <laughs> no, it's, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's pussy's the same. The same? Yeah. No matter where you go, pussy's the same. <laughs> it's the same. It's the mm. one thing that does not lose value as you move to different regions. It only moves lose value as you get older. I mean, like, bitch, nah, I ain't paying for that. So. Yeah, well, what's interesting here is because, and I did, I met someone here. I went back on the site because, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I knew one person. And I'm like, well, I would like to get some dick because it's not like, I'm not, it's not just that, like I'm trying to I get mean, money. Not, it's not like we're savages, right? Right. I'm trying to get regular dick with someone that I know is not going to be running around and bringing COVID or whatever or any, I mean, other, like, that's the one disease I care about. I'm like, hey, it's fine. <laughs> I probably already got it. I'm, but, but I do not want to have a cough. You if I get a sore throat, <laughs> you can't suck dick with a sore throat. Yeah, I know. But here, well, for Wendy, it's not just a sickness. I mean, that's then it, now it's literally a sick day. She's like, I got to call out a, you know, <laughs> I got to call out sick. <laughs> yeah, you want to know? I was I was being a smart ass talking to my friend. It was when I when COVID very first hit, and I was running my mouth like, yeah, if I get it, it's fine. What do I give a shit? It's not like my job is to like make out with old people. And then I was like, oh wait, fuck. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what my job is. Oh, that's yeah. literally what my oh. job is. <laughs> so it's like pick out an apartment building. <laughs> I know, but here, a lot of people that live here are successful, and because the cost of living is so low, they they live in oh, like crazy. They a lot of people that they got live a lot here, of discretionary income. They do, baby. They're making Manhattan income. They're making like rich Manhattan income, but they're living in St. Louis where their mortgage is six hundred bucks. So they have got disposable income and a fat ass wife. So I'm like, I was like, it's fish you are cleaning barrel. up. Yeah. You are cleaning up. Wendy's like uh, the the forty ers that went out to the West Coast for, for gold. <laughs> She's like, this is. The, a, don't you just mean the real forty nine? Yeah. The real forty nine, <laughs> like the <laughs> like the panhandlers. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, Wendy is killing it. Can, Wendy's learn. Wendy's turning tricks in a pageant dress. She don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know. I mean, I love it here. It's nice. Like it's um, it's very chill, easy way of life. And my level of stress went down. Not you know when you're stressed out like every day. Like how am I gonna pay rent? What the fuck? What the fuck? So I have a bigger place. So I'm able to like be more creative and work. And I just got on TikTok and I put some sugar daddy thing up there. And my shit is like. <laughs> blowing Dang up it. i got four thousand new followers yesterday and one day on tiktok Fuck yeah. wow. really uh, yeah yeah it's i love it i thought it was gonna be dumb i'm like whatever i've done you know nothing but time and so it's great i got a bunch of like hot fucking chicks following me really Do oh it, oh that's turn, interesting so it's the turn other chicks with with you turn tricks with chicks too Tricks oh no, chicks. I have these chicks. Well, I have to be careful about what I'm putting on TikTok because I put the sugar daddy jokes you just up. It bend real easy. Yeah. And everyone's like, how do I get a sugar daddy? And they took it down. And I had to say, oh, these are literally jokes. And you have 19 year old girls on there wearing white leggings with visible camel toe, giving detailed like instructions Which on how accounts? to get. And be specific. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, put the uh, link in there. Give us the at mentions, please. There are chicks on there that are giving detailed instructions on kind of like the female version of what Dante does here, which is this is how to fucking get men to do what you want, when you want to take all their goddamn money and you don't have to look at their dick or touch their gross body. Blah. So there are accounts like that that stay up. That's fine. And I put a sugar daddy joke. They're funny jokes, but somebody flagged it for illegal activity and like the selling of goods. And I was like, first of all, I'm not selling anything good. So that flag <laughs> does not work. <laughs> so take that off. But I had to tell them I'm, literally a comedian these, and they these let are, you these did are they let so they you off back up yeah they put the video back up oh, oh so you put a video of you doing comedy or just you you talking about it what i did and if you're on my tiktok uh don't listen to this these are not jokes i've ever practiced this is stuff i'm thinking about in the moment for the first time ever and i'm saying it to camera what i've started doing is my jokes i know people are putting clips of their stand-up but a lot of the videos, it's front facing and they like that confessional. It feels very like, yeah. like you're just having a conversation. So right. I've taken my jokes that are shorter jokes that, and I have a very conversational, I kind of like yours, Dante, like similar where it comes like mm -hmm. a story and yeah. I'll just pull them and say them to camera in a little bit of a different feel and clip that up and people fucking lose their mind because they're like look at this whore and she's funny and it's like no no it's the opposite <laughs> i'm a funny person that accidentally found someone to pay for my pussy yeah. 
You went and on so, the back end. You went yeah, into yeah, the I, kitchen. Exactly. I'm like, no, no, no. The funny part, that was already there. <laughs> but some people are just like, look at this fucking stupid prostitute. She can make sentences? Follow her. <laughs> she don't have no flannel on. This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> This is crazy. Them big yeah. old girls in San Antonio, <laughs> double fisting churros. So that Wendy, so fucking funny. How many? Uh, so is the number higher now? I don't remember what you were. I mean, you always fluctuated with the number of sugar daddies that you had in New York, but I, if I remember two. it was like two that were consistent or something. Mm-hmm. And one you liked. Yes. <laughs> And when you correct. didn't, and so when you how, were like, you gotta is, get drunk as shit to to fucking. Pull that was through. a nightmare. Yep, that was a nightmare. Um, yeah. so I have one here, right. and I have here. So here's an interesting fact. I actually, I technically have two here, but one because of COVID, I saw once, and he lives a little bit away. He can't come into the city to see me because his work is shut down. He is not a single person. Oh, oh boy. Okay. now. But here, here's the great thing. We've just been like texting. He, I haven't seen him for a couple months and I'm actually sad because he's hot as fuck, but I just can't see him. We text back and forth and he just still sends me money. Oh boy. Just so to he's, text and I'll send so him pictures. And extra excited about this vaccine. He's like, come on, Fauci, get this shit out of here. <laughs> he's like, yeah. all for them shits. Hurry the fuck up. I got to get back to work. <laughs> the Pfizer one, the three day, what the doubles. Limb, bro. <laughs> I know. I just send him pictures it, of my, my pussy and my ass. I, whatever I put on OnlyFans, I send to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just and do then, one picture for three different purposes. <laughs> that's a great way to handle your yeah. social media. <laughs> Wendy's all about efficiency and multitasking and repurposing. How can we get more out of this pussy uh, shop? I mean, <laughs> right. it's, it's a great pussy shop, but I mean, are we doing everything we can? Let's have a meeting nah. here. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.